Glycomics is the study of anything and everything related to sugars. And that can be simple sugars, the way we eat them, metabolize them, get energy from them. It's the merger really of glycobiology, the study of glycans and genomics. Glycomics research, in particular carbohydrate chemistry, is something that's really kind of coming of age now. It's really exciting times for glycomics, I think, in terms of the ability potentially to translate and apply research in this area to all sorts of therapies that are important in human health. Antimicrobials are a class of compounds that are used to treat um, both bacterial and fungal infections. They're miracle drugs, really. They cure people of otherwise lethal or terrible infections. Not a lot of drug development has been done in this field for a very long period of time, and that's coupled with the emergence of drug-resistant strains of bacteria and fungi mean that they're um, becoming less effective than they used to be. The thing about antibiotics is that it's very important to have alternatives in treatment. And what we're really trying to do is add another tool in the clinician's toolbox to treat these kinds of pathogens. Glycanet is funding a really exciting project to try to tackle this problem of drug resistance. Most microorganisms, fungi, bacteria, and parasites have what's called a cell wall. And the cell wall is composed predominantly over 80% of sugar molecules that provide rigidity and protect the organism from the environment. If you strip away that cell wall, the organisms are not used to facing the universe at a large, and frankly, most of the time, they'll simply explode because they rely on the strength provided to them by that cell wall. And if our antibiotics, antifungals, whatever, target the processes that make that cell wall, if we disrupt the cell wall, we kill them by understanding more about the basic science and the basic processes that go into the production of the carbohydrates, we can exploit those processes in a way that has not really been thought about before. Our research has, I think, two ways that you can imagine we can improve Canada's future. One is the direct application to health. It's obvious that if we develop new therapies that destroy biofilms, the possibility to infect pulmonary infections, infections on these medical devices, the many, many hospital-inquired infections with many different organisms, that's a tremendous potential benefit to Canadians and, and frankly, to everyone worldwide. It also has a lot of economic potential. We are a Canadian group that is 100% within Canada. Our development plan and any commercialization will be done in a Canadian setting with Canadian resources and in the Canadian economy. Glyconet has helped in the development of the intellectual property. It has helped co-share the patent costs that we need to protect the ideas and the future. It's also helped to put us in touch with industrial experts and venture capitalists to figure out exactly how we move the technology forward in terms of potentially developing a new company that would spin out some of the technology that we have been working on. After 25 years as an independent scientist, we've really got to the stage where we can really begin to take that knowledge to the next step to translate it into something that will be of benefit to Canadians and hopefully the wider world. <laughs>